We've got MedMen getting back to basics and great news for hemp farmers. Today is February 28th and this is your Tricombs Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California. It's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. Struggling retailer MedMen is going back to basics. According to a report from CNN, the popular yet troubled cannabis dispensary chain wants to get out of the business of growing and producing cannabis so it can focus on its retail stores. Ryan Lisak, MedMen's newly appointed interim CEO, said during the company's second quarter earnings call on Wednesday, while vertical integration has been a big focus for the industry, our growing belief is that cannabis is evolving like every other consumer vertical with a fragmented value chain and specialists at each layer. In addition to outsourcing cultivation and production operations, MedMen plans to put each existing store under a microscope to ensure they will generate cash. If that's not the case, then stores might be temporarily or permanently shut down. We cannot continue to invest in assets that are not producing near-term cash returns, said Zeeshan Hyder, MedMen's chief financial officer. Next, the USDA no longer requires the DEA requirement for hemp testing. An article from Hemp Industry Daily explains federal agriculture officials are dropping the requirement that all THC testing on hemp crops must be performed at laboratories registered with the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, according to industry sources. Josh Schneider, CEO of Cultivaris Hemp, told Hemp Industry Daily this about face by the USDA means that farmers can continue to use their trusted local and regional analytical testing labs to ensure compliance with USDA rules. Getting rid of this ridiculous DEA testing requirement is a step in the right direction by the USDA, he added. Hopefully this means that the USDA has come to their senses and will be making better and smarter rules going forward. The FDA has not provided a timeline for when it will release guidance on CBD regulation. Finally, manufacturers are starting to use hemp to create renewable cannabis packaging. An article from MaryJane.com says hemp-based plastics are being used in 3D printing or injection molding processes to create toothbrushes, sustainable cannabis packaging, and more. Several new companies are turning to hemp to create renewable bioplastics that can serve as an alternative to traditional oil-based plastics. As the amount of plastic waste in the oceans and landfills reach epic proportions, researchers are working to create plastic alternatives from renewable sources like straw, wood, food waste, or hemp. Denver-based Santa Packaging is one company that is using both hemp-derived plastic as well as recycled ocean plastic to create sustainable packaging for the cannabis industry. Retail regulations in Canada and U.S. adult-use states often impose extreme packaging requirements on legal products, which have resulted in an excessive amount of single-use plastic pot packaging. Santa CEO Ron Basak-Smith said, Because of the ability to easily produce plastics, we got ourselves into single-use disposable culture, and that has caused a dysfunctional system. Santa now uses plastics with hemp fillers to create sustainable injection molded packaging for around 200 legal cannabis companies. And that was today's buzz. Sound off on these stories and more with the cannabis community at trichomes.com slash morning buzz. And be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at trichomes.com. My name is David Fortin. Have a good one.